drawing a cube. What is a cube? As a first step, we will study a cube. You all know what a cube is. It is a three-dimensional object having six equal square faces. The cube has six faces. Twelve edges. Eight vertex. All the faces are square. Hence, all twelve edges are equal. In an attempt to draw a cube, one can understand the basic principle of perspective. Proportion, scale, eye level, dimension, convergence, foreshortening and so on. Drawing a cube from front view. You have a cube in front of you. Place it at eye level. The viewpoint of the cube has been established now. In this case, the eye level is near the center line of the cube. First place it with a face and the edge completely parallel to you so that you do not see any other side or back face. The drawing will also indicate your viewpoint with respect to the object. As a simple quick sketch on your exercise sheet, draw the square face as you see. You may recall the method of measuring an object in view with the help of your pencil or ruler. You can see that the length and width of the square are equal and are the two longest and right dimensions. The length of the first line whether horizontal or vertical will establish the dimensions of the other edge of the square face. Remember, it is not the actual measurement but the relative measurement of the length that is required. This is one view of the cube. This view helps you to understand that the cube is a three-dimensional development of the two-dimensional square. Drawing a cube from different angles. This time, place the cube at eye level with the longest vertical edge parallel to you. There are three vertical edges and the central vertical line is the longest one. Now there are also two faces visible to you. Each face is seemingly decreasing or diminishing. In drawing this view of the cube, first draw the central vertical edge. The length of this line, which is the longest vertical line, will establish the dimension of all the other lines you see. It is with respect to this line that other edge and corresponding angles will be determined. The two edges of the two faces, each that diminish to the left and right of the vertical line, seem to converge at some point. This imaginary point in fact lies on the imaginary line of the eye level. Now, draw two edges the top and bottom edges of the right face. Take a mental measure of the angle at which the two edges are converging.
draw these two lines on the edge from the central vertical line lightly to the side vertical line check the length of the side vertical line using the pencil ruler method if there is a difference adjust the top and bottom edges accordingly take a measure of the other two vertical edges with respect to the central edge first take the distance from the central edge and mark these with light vertical lines remember the vertical lines being parallel to you are the true measures in their length and the two edges are being derived with respect to these you now have a free hand drawing of the cube in front of you where three parallel vertical edges and two faces are visible Draw the cube so that the three faces of the cube and nine edges are visible. For this, view, place the cube in such a way that it is below your eye level and the vertical edges are parallel to you. Can you say what is visible to you? To draw a size or any view you need only draw the nine lines of the edges correctly and in accurate relationship to one another take measurement of the longest vertical edge and draw it freehand on the paper as before the dimensions of all other eight lines of the cube will be in relation to the length of this line the second set of lines that you should draw are the side edges from the bottom and top of this vertical edge remember the angles of these lines with respect to the vertical line determine the rest of the corresponding angles these would also give you an idea of the lines that tend to converge on the imaginary line of the eye level now Take measurements of the side vertical lines and also the distance from the main vertical line. Mark the points of intersection and draw them. To draw the top face, you need to understand the angles at which the two remaining edges start from the top of the side vertical line. At the rear of the face represents the hidden rear edge behind the cube. In this way, you have now drawn freehand three different views of the cube. With each careful drawing, you must understand the importance of seeing, thinking and comparing. 
The degree of accuracy you attain in your drawing is entirely up to your understanding of corresponding angles and the measures you have taken for each line. The drawing of the different views of the cube may not appear to you the accurate perspective drawing composition they need to be. You will gradually understand the perspective drawing in more detail. However, there needs to be concentrated effort 